Thank you for calling. Please continue to hold for the next available. Alright, obviously, since they're not picking up, we're going to call their number on their website. 844-898-4398. Got that. Thank you for calling. Oh, God. Technical support. You're speaking with Brian. How may I help you? Hey Brian, uh, I've been having some problems with my computer, and I saw you guys had a uh, a thing on YouTube. Uh, so, I can hear your voice is breaking. Can, I'm not able to hear you. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Do you want me to call you back? Um, sure. He's calling back. So he does. It might go through to my phone, so 
I don't want to wait to the freaking <laughs> crappy music. Is there grass? Apparently, it's just this house. Alright, I'm not getting a call, so I'm gonna call back. All that music, though. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling technical support. You're speaking to Brian. How may I help you? Hello? Yes, sir. Um, hey, I uh, saw you guys have a YouTube video. And I call this number because I've been having some problems with my computer. Uh, what do you mean by that, sir? I didn't get you. I've been having like some problems with my computer, like that, like I can't install certain stuff, and just some, just like it's being really weird. This is technical support for Windows. What are you looking for? Yeah, I ha I have Windows. All right, and what kind of problem are you facing, and how did you get this number? I've got it off of YouTube, and I my computer's just been really slow, and there's like like I can't install some stuff. Sometimes stuff just like crashes and doesn't work. Alright. Is this a home computer or a work computer? Home. And how many people use this computer? Uh, just me. Sorry? Just me. Alright. Are you using a wireless phone to call? No. Sorry? No. I'm not able to get you. Can you please tell I me where are you located right now? California. Sorry? CA. And I... Oh, he hung up. No, we're calling back. <laughs> They're freaking crappy phone lines. Thank you for... Yes, sir. Is, uh, is this person I was just speaking with? Yes, sir. Why'd you hang up? Your call has been disconnected by the network errors. I think oh. your network is not working fine because I'm getting your voice breaked. Okay. Hello? Hello? Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Alright. Can you please tell me exactly what you need right now? I what was, you need? I just need some help with my computer. Uh, you need what? I, I just need some help with my computer. Alright. Let me tell you sir before proceeding that if something suspicious is going on in your computer and if there are some services that you need there might be some charges. Are you the authorized person to pay the charges? Yeah. Alright, connect your computer to a Microsoft security network that will diagnose it. Okay. Alright, just give me a moment. I'm transferring your call to a technician who will be taking your 
uh, computer to Microsoft Security Network, okay? Please be online. Okay. Thank you for being online. Are you there? Yeah, hello. Yes, my name is Rose. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Fine. Uh, so, what you have to do, actually, uh, I just wanted to know what kind of problem you are facing. Um, it's just been like really slow and I can't really, like there's some stuff that it won't install and it like crashes sometimes. Are you facing this problem first time? Uh, no, it's been happening over a little bit now. Are you facing this problem first time, sir? I, I said no, it's been happening for a little bit, a little bit now. Alright, and what you were doing when you got this message? I was on Firefox. Alright, so just what I have to do for that, I have to connect the computer to the Microsoft security server because I, I'll diagnose the computer that why you're facing this kind of problem. So uh, I just wanted to know which Windows you're using right now. Windows uh, 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10? I think it's 7. And are you using laptop or desktop? Desktop. Hello? Okay, alright. Okay. Just do one thing. Just look at your keyboard at the very left hand side bottom corner. There is a Windows key available with the four square sign. Can you see that? Yeah. You you just have to press that key and hold that key. While holding that key, you have to press letter R on the keyboard. At okay. the same time, you have to push both of keys. Okay, it, uh, it brought a little box. Yes, run box. Are you able yeah. to see run box? Yeah. Now release your fingers from the keyboard. And now you have to type there, it's www. Okay, www. Microsoftconnect.com Microsoft Connect. Yes. Dot com. Yes, MicrosoftConnect.com. Okay. Yes. Okay, bring up a uh, connect with technical team now, server one and server two. Can you click on server one? Okay. Alright. Alright, so it is asking for six digit code support connection? Yeah. Alright, so just give me a moment. I'm going to provide you the code. Bear okay. with me. Bear with me. Let me create a code for you. Okay. Just be with me. All right. Be with me. Let me create a code for you. Just be with me.
thank you for holding the line. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, the score is four zero zero four four nine. Um, it, it's what? Yes, you have to put this code in the uh, where it is asking for the digit code. Yeah, what? Well, and you have to click in and start download. What is it? Okay, are you able to see support connection which is asking for six digit code? Yes, what's what's the code? It is four zero zero. Okay. Four four nine. Okay. Start download. Yes, click on the start download. Alright. Alright, it's downloading. Yes. Uh, it says code does not exist. Click on run. It says code does not exist. Four zero zero. It says four zero zero four zero nine. I'm gonna provide you the next code. I'm gonna okay. provide you the next code. Remove the code and take a, a ne another code. Right. It is two seven. Two seven. Three five. Three five. Six seven. Six seven. So two seven three five six seven. Yes. Okay. Alright, that one's downloading. Yes. It's, uh... Click on run. It's, uh... What you are getting on your screen now? I, I'm supposed to click on it, right? Hello? Yes? I, I'm supposed to click on it, right? Are you getting any kind of pop-up or any... Uh, I got the... Uh, I got the download. Okay, alright. Any file is downloading? Um, yeah, it's download support, log me in thing. Yes, click on that, open that file. Yeah, it's not, it's not doing anything when I click on it. Alright, just wait a minute, it will, once it will download it, it will reflect in your screen. Yeah, yeah, it downloaded. It's, sh it's not doing that when I click, when I, uh, when I click on it though. You are not able to see any option, right? Yeah, I don't... Yeah, uh, is it... What's supposed to pop up? Sorry? Bring me a pardon? It's not, yeah, it's not popping anything up. There's something what else I have to do. To I can just see my downloads and I see it right there, but when I click on it, it doesn't, nothing pops up. Okay. So, are you, you are not able to see any message, any alert, which, where the option is available, run, save, open, cancel. No? Nothing um, happens? Let me check my tabs. Maybe it's... Uh, yes. Could it be hidden somewhere, maybe? Sure. Okay, let me check. Well, here, I'm, I'm going to click the download button again. Maybe I just need to re-download it. Okay, bring up a, a box now. Box? What it says? It says, uh, oh, it says, uh, run or, uh, uh, cancel. Sorry? It says, uh, uh, save file or run. No, 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 no. You are in a wrong page. Uh, you are in a wrong window right now. Okay. What? Alright, just do one thing. Okay. Again, look at your keyboard and press windows along with the letter R key. Okay. Okay. Alright. go to the run box. And you have to type there, it's uh, www.support.me. 
support.me. Yes. Okay. Now go to the support connection page. Okay. Where you are? Um, yeah, I'm there. You are in uh, support connection page? Yeah. Okay, it is asking for six digit code? Yeah. Okay. Now you have to put there it's 680. 680? 760. 770? 760. 760. So 680760? Yes. 680760. 680760. Yes. Now again click on start download. Okay. Alright, it's downloading something again. Uh, no, it says it does not exist again. 780680, right? No, it's 680760. Oh, I put 7. Okay. Okay, now it's downloading something. Oh. Okay, yeah. I click run. Click on run. Yeah, I did. It says uh, connecting. It says yes or yes, no. Bring this thing, yes or no. And what pop up you are getting now? It's a, it says yes or no. Do you want this? Uh, to, do you want to allow this program to make the following changes? Yes. Click on y okay. Okay. It says uh, a report uh, support representative will be with you shortly. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna send you the request. Just bear with me. Okay. And once you see that Rose would like to perform, you just have to click on OK option. Okay. Oh yeah, it made a little sound too. That's good, right? Can you see my cursor is moving on a screen? Um, no, I can't see your cursor, but I can see you doing stuff. Can you see my cursor is moving? Yeah, yeah, I can see can it. Can see? It's me and we are successfully connected now. Now, okay. Let me check it out. Was a problem? You are okay. On your screen. Can you show me where you got that pop-up? Uh, it was it was in Google Chrome, but I had closed the I had closed the thing because nothing was working. I was just going to Google and it was it, it popped up like a blue thing it was like making some weird noise okay all right I just wanted to know are you using any kind of okay you are using a any kind of what malware bytes antivirus right, right? yeah yeah I, I downloaded this, this my is friend, your security so. this, yeah. is the, this is your security right yeah I think so okay all right fine now let me go ahead and check it out I got this Windows update pop up too. This is downloading updates. I'm just giving some scanning on the screen, but before that, let me check it out. Information of computer. Oh, you're gonna scan it for me? I just have to check it out. Information of computer. Just oh, okay. All right. Sounds good. So what do you think could be happening here? This is your system information which we got and you are registered with the Microsoft. Top, what's top 5 per CPU? Uh, and you booted your computer last time, 2000, okay, no. Huh? This is today's date and your computer name is Ellipsid with the name of Ellipsid you are registered with us okay Okay. and your CPU information is Intel R premium R CPU okay and this is your memory information 
and this is your disk drivers in information and this is your process information okay and you can see so many errors message can you see that yeah I see that it says uh when that says today yes and now i i i have to check it out why okay. You are using Windows 7 Ultimate Copyright 2009 Microsoft Corporation yeah. Service Pack One, right? Yeah, that's what uh, that's what it came with. <coughs> and, uh, Why is there something wrong with Windows 7 or something? Checking it out. Is it old? About the security, about the problem. Okay. When you updated your computer last time? Um, like Windows updates, that thing. Yes. It's actually it's downloading updates right now. I think. Go. Uh, I think it's downloading some. It, it it did say it had a thing down here that was said it was downloading. I guess it stopped. I don't know. It did say right, downloading um, updates. Don't, don't, don't use your mouse. Okay. I can see the security, spyware, and unwanted software protection is important and which is not updated. And virus protection is also needed for a computer. Okay. So much noise is coming from your side, sir. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I was just. Cut, had some paper on my desk. Um, can you see the black screen? Uh, yeah. Users and, uh, ellipsed. This is your name. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's what and I I'm named the computer. I'm going to give some scanning on your screen. Through that, we come to know what kind of problem is going on, why you are facing this kind of problem. Okay. It will take some time. This scanning will take take some time. So just bear with me, okay? All right. Let me check it out. So what's this uh, scan here going to do? Just be with me. For the meantime, just be with me. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you for holding the line and uh, scanning has been almost done and I just wanted to show you because the result has been oh. came out now. Is it red? I want you to read it out for me. Which I um, just highlighted, you just won't have to read it out. Okay. Co coop base attackers found on your network, no firewall security. Available okay, action welcome. needed immediately. Two viruses found on your network. Coop Coop face is not recognized as internal, external command. Do you understand? Do you understand what is coop face? Uh, no. No? Okay, just be with me. I'll let you know what is coop face. Uh, what I analyze. 
realize that uh, some suspicious activities are going on in computer and uh, some infections is going on in computer. So I just wanted to ask, that are you using any kind of banking or any financial stuff or any social networking site with this computer as like Facebook, Yahoo, Skype, email? And it um, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Okay. So I just, mm, I just wanted to highly recommend you that don't use any fi financial stuff, any online banking for the 28 hours because your computer is in risk right now. Yeah. So it really need to fix your problem. Through after that, you can use your computer. But before that, you have to change the password of your every social networking site as well as your banking password as well okay okay and i just find out the, about the cool face can you just read, read it out what is cool face um it says cool face is a network worm that attacks microsoft windows mac os x and linux platforms this worm originally targeted users networking websites like facebook skype yahoo Messenger, and email websites such as gmail yahoo AOL Mail. It also targets the other networking websites such as MySpace, Twitter, and it can infect the other devices on the same local network. This infection allows an attacker to access users' personal information such as banking information, passwords, or personal identity. This considered a security risk and should be removed from the network. As I told you earlier, right? That this is a kind of virus, this is a kind of worm which attacks on your network through that they get into your computer and through that they also can get you in other devices as well. And first of all they attack on your windows and they corrupt they try to corrupt your all the softwares and after that they wanted to steal the information from your computer and they want they wanted to monitor all the activities of your social networking sites and as well as your banking as well okay so okay. you don't need to worry about these things we will protect for that and i just wanted to uh, find out that how you are getting this kind of problem and who are trying to access your computer okay can you see some scanning is going on in computer? Yeah, it's, it's popping up these yes. little it will numbers. Take few seconds, but it will take few seconds and uh, it almost done. And I just wanted to know that do you understand what is local addresses? Um, uh, like my house or I don't know. This is the local addresses of your computer, so. Suppose you are using a social security number for yourself, right? So this is the computer social security number. It means this is the IP addresses of your computer. Because every computer has their own IP addresses, okay? Okay. So this is the foreign addresses just beside that. Can you see that? What are the foreign addresses? Means, yes. It means these are the foreign addresses. These are those addresses from the overseas who wanted to, who trying to get access in your computer, and they wanted to monitor all the activities of the computer. They wanted to steal some information from your computer, and you can see the established status. It means they are already trying. They are already established in your network, and some are in time wait. It means they are trying to access, but they are in on the way, and they still on the way they uh, they are not is uh, still established so for that what you have to do you have to remove these foreign addresses and these infections from your network and you have to take immediate action on it and you have to take a protection to secure your ip addresses and your ip addresses how they get your ip addresses i just wanted to show you give me a moment okay If you type in your uh, Google,
from you and that my IP address. You can see this is your IP address which is in public and yeah. anyone can easily see this IP addresses and they can uh, steal the information through this IP addresses. They can access through this IP addresses on your computer. Okay. So what you have to do first of all, you have to take a precaution. You have to take a security to block this IP addresses through that no one can easily see your IP addresses in public. Okay. okay. You have to uh, be uh, make it in unpublic. Okay. Right. Suppose if you will use your banking, if you're using your banking, and if you are using your debit card or credit card, if you will not put any kind of PIN code on that card, anyone can easily use that card, right? So for safety point of view, what you do, you put the PIN which you only know, which your family only know that PIN code, okay? But there is an IP address of your computer which is in Google and which is in public. Anyone can easily uh, access, anyone can easily steal your IP addresses and through that they can ex get into your network. And one more thing I was, I just wanted to check. I have to check you all the drivers, all the applications. Is everything is fine or not? Can you see your system information? Um, yeah. And this is divided in two parts, in hardware part, one of in hardware part and one of in software part. If you go to check your hardware uh, status, you can see, it will take few seconds. You can see all the status in completely okay. There is no problem. Can you see uh, that? Yeah. And if you check your software status, and I just wanted to check your window reports, is everything is fine or not? Yeah. It will take few seconds. You can see how many window error reporting is occurring. Can you see that? Um, window yeah. application error, application error, application error, window error. If you will scroll down, you can see how many window error and application error is occurring. And this problem has been uh, start from your com uh, for your computer since to uh, 26 of April 2016. And I just wanted to know who use a computer this early morning, 1 a.m., 1 a.m., 1.31 a.m., 1.35 a.m., who use? That was probably me. Sorry? That was no probably one? me. You? Me. Yeah. All right. So these are the infections. These are the bad programs which has been reinstalled in computer. That is the reason these are the these are uh, is occurring in computer and you're facing this kind of problem. And uh, if I uh, check your system drivers, you can see most of the services in a stop mode. Can you see that? Um, yeah. Is that, is that supposed to be stopped? And some are some are running and some are stopped. You know, these all the Windows uh, operating services should be in a running mode, but because of infection, it is not running. Okay. okay. And you can see just beside that, there is a critical condition available, which is the... Uh, alert for you that you have to take immediate action to fix this problem otherwise Does it might be your computer can get crashed. It can, if you that can, can crash it right now? Your computer. No, no, no. If you will reboot your computer and if, if you will not uh, take immediate action on it. Okay. So that, so that what I can do for you in this pro uh, case, I'll assign a level 6 Microsoft certified technicians to fix your problem. They will give you the repair to fix your issues. They will uh, remove all the infections from your computer and from your network as well. Okay? Okay. For that, what I have to do, I have to discuss about your case that uh, you're facing this kind of problem. And the one more thing I would like to tell you, just bear with me. Hello. Thank you for holding the line. And one more thing I would like to tell you, uh, what problem I see, according to that, 
there is some paid tool required to fix this problem because some advanced tool required to fix your problem so are you okay with that um yeah i just have to look at it all right just bear with me let me discuss about your case okay Yes, sir. I just discussed about your case to the level six technicians, and they just told me that uh, there is a uh, good news for you that this problem can be fixable. You don't need to worry about that. But before that, what they gonna do? I just wanted to show you in the notepad. Can you see what uh, um, ta what I? Because I just got this mail from them, and I I wanted to show you in the notepad. You can understand better what they gonna do for your computer. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. Yes, for that, what you have to do, I just wanted to confirm that you have to leave your computer at least two to three hours as it is on, because they're going to start work on your computer, and through that, you'll uh, fix your problem. And after that, once the work has been done, your, the technician will call you back, and they will let you know that now your computer is fine, and you can use as it is your computer as a new computer. And uh, for that, uh, so are you okay with that, if you have to leave the computer for two to three hours? Yeah. All right. So I just wanted to tell you what they will do. They will our networking team and repair team will work on your computer, as well as our Microsoft certified technicians, network technicians will work on your computer. They will clean and secure your network, which is infected. Your network has been compromised, and if you will uh, use your, uh, if you will not fix your problem because your network has been compromised and if you will connect your any other devices with the same network that also can get infected through this infection okay because uh, uh, I just wanted to know how many devices you are using apart from this computer like other computers I mean as like uh, apart from this computer are you using any laptop desktop any cell phone any tablet or anything else I have my laptop and my phone all right. Yes, this actually I just wanted to tell you that if you will not fix your problem, this problem has been start in this computer just now, right? This is just initial start. If you will not take immediate action on it, then after that later on, slowly, slowly, these problem can get in, infected on those uh, devices as well because you are going to connect your those devices with the same network. So that in uh, devices also can get infected. And one more thing I would like to tell you, suppose if you are sending an email or any kind of chat to anyone, peep, anyone else, you are sending an infection through your computer to those people as well. So they, those computers also can get infected. And if you, you're any relevant, any friends is coming to your house and they also use their devices in the net, in your ne local network, and their device also can get infected. So this is the problem which you can face. Okay. okay. So for that, you have to remove all the infections, first of all, from your net uh, network, and they will give you the protection and security for your network. And they will clean all and secure your computer, which is uh, right now infected. And after that, they will clean all the infections from your computer. They will reinstall the security patches, which is not compatible for the computer with the computer that is the reason is so many kind of uh, contamination is going on in computer and they will run all the application as a new and if you will click in any browser your browser will open a very uh, very uh, soon and uh, your browser will work very uh, fast fast yes and okay. they will optimize and install the drivers 
and they will install the update flash pair and java program which will support your computer to work very as a new computer and they will optimize and secure the into install browser and they will give you the advanced version secured firefox as well okay plus google chrome and if you come to the security part this is 100 percent transferable which i wanted to tell you especially because if you buy any kind of uh, devices for future and if you will ask to these services which we are we gonna provide you that you have to like uh, to transfer these services to those uh, devices then we can transfer these services to those devices as well but we will not charge any single penny for that because this is a service from us which we gonna provide you and they will block all the pop-up which kind of bad pop-up you are getting if you are browsing your internet you are must be getting some kind of bad links or bad pop-ups so they will block all pop-ups and they will give it additional cleanser for ms os and browsers they will give you the microsoft network firewall security which is the inbuilt security and they will give you the software security as well which is really needed because through the scanning you come to know that your computer really needed protection and software as well and they will give you the banking security as you told me you sometime use a banking and you will give uh, they will give you the email security ip security which is already in public as i show you you have to uh, take a security to for your ip address and they will give you the internet security through that your some infections has been redirected to your computer and they will give you the backup as well for that okay okay so right. now i would like to tell you about the charges just bear with me Just bear with me. Let me pull up an email. For a meanwhile, I just wanted to ask that, uh, by the way, you are from where you belong. I mean, where are you right now? May I know? Like, what do you mean? I mean, from where you are belong and from where you are calling. United States. United States. Yeah. And which state? California. California, all right. Okay, just be with me. Let me pull up the name. Yeah. Uh, I just got a mail from them that what gonna they charge to fix your problem and uh, for that if you go for a one year plan for that they will give you the unlimited support it means 24 by 7 365 days you can ask for unlimited support unlimited software anything you can ask to us that you want this Updation is this upgradation for a computer for your any devices for any your home devices Either you are using cell phone tablet any laptop desktop for complete devices They want to they're gonna give you the un unlimited support Plus they will give you the one year free file or security for that They don't charge you some any amount and they will give you the and uh, not on security and diverse software charge software and for that they're gonna charge you two forty nine dollar and ninety five cents with one year warranty security warranty okay okay if you go for a three year plan for three year technical support unlimited support they will give you plus they will give you the uh, free firewall security for three years and McAfee and Tower software security and for that they will give you the three year security warranty and they're gonna charge you for the three ninety nine dollar ninety five cents. Yeah. And if you go for a lifetime plan, mostly I recommend to my customers for a lifetime plan because this is the one time investment which they have to 
pay after that they don't have to worry about the investment because if you buy any security you have to pay for that security in every year you have to renew your security in every year but here you don't have to renew your security because they're going to provide you the lifetime security warranty and for oh, this is the one time investment which you have to provide and this is the unlimited support and they're going to provide you lifetime free firewall security and mcafee and tower security software with only for 99 dollar 95 cents okay um yes so i just wanted to ask in which uh, plan you would like to go yes i did a lifetime man sorry lifetime yeah all right so just bear with me let me go ahead and check it out and uh, get registered with you for the legal purpose i have to register with you so for that i need some information okay. and uh, don't turn off your computer because our technician will work start work on your computer so just bear with me and uh, we'll go so i need some information from your side so just bear with me uh, because for the legal purpose i want to send your information to the technical department to the billing department to get registered with you okay then okay. after that they're going to work our technicians will start work on your computer so just bear with me and i'm going to provide you our company details our toll free number our address each and everything to yeah. you and uh, through that whenever you con want to contact us you can and this is our details this is your case number and my name is rose and this is my extension number and this is my company name repair all pc llc and this is our email address and this is our toll free number and this is the address and i want you to fill it out can you just type in your name address phone number email huh can you just type in your complete name first name and last name address phone number then i can oh. go ahead and proceed for the procedure and uh, get registered with you okay so I yes. just fill it out in here then? Yes, type in name, complete name, first name and last name, address, phone number. Does it uh, matter which number we put, if it's a uh, mobile or... Phone number, like, like your home phone number or... Uh, I want your complete address with the zip code. Oh. City, state, your complete address. Yeah, this is my city. My state is California. California, alright. Then I gotta put it. Oh. California. All right. Phone number.
Okay. Am I supposed to be something here? This is the service which we gonna provide you. Repair work, lifetime network firewall, CC cleaner, plus four year technical warranty and McAfee internet security. And this is for all devices. Number of devices if you see, this is for all. Complete your home network and complete for all devices. Okay? Okay. And um, just bear with me. And uh, can you just put the amount? You go for a lifetime plan, which is in four ninety nine ninety five dollar. You have to put put this amount by yourself. I have to put it. Yes. Um, okay. Four nine nine. Yes, four ninety nine dollar ninety five cents. Just bear with me. And now let me go ahead and pull up the form to get register you for the legal purpose. Okay. So just bear with me. And I'm gonna save this form to your desktop with the name of technical support. It means anytime if you will wanted to contact us then you can contact okay okay just be with me all right And you can see with the name of technical process, sorry, technical support. Yeah. It is safe in your desktop. And now let me pull up a form. Hello. Yes, just bear with me. I'm just open up a phone. All right. Just bear with me, sir. Just bear with me.
Hello? Yes, be with me, sir. Why'd somebody just delete that? All right, scammer. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right, I guess I'm just going to say it right now. I know you're a scammer since you're already trying to put a siski on. Good job. Good job, scammer. Are you going to talk? We've been recording this whole session. I already have your freaking stupid voice. You going to talk? You going to talk? Hello? Hello? What happened to you? What happened Hello? to you? Let me provide you a system key. And it will be like, uh... Uh, yeah, you're trying to put a syskey. You're trying to do that so every time I, I log want, in, I want, I that want, it needs I a want. password. I won't, I won't provide you a syskey. Just give me a moment. Yes, we Asians and we Indians are more smarter than you, you know that? No, you're not. You're, you know that's why you're scamming people? Is that why you're scamming people? Because you can't make your own money, you can't make your own business, you have to scam people, you piece of crap? It's a virtual machine, you dumb piece of crap. It's a virtual machine, you dumb piece of crap. It's a virtual machine, you dumb piece of crap. I've already taken a snapshot. Do whatever you want. He hung up. Let's call back. Dumb piece of crap. Let's see what they do. Huh. These stupid people. Much smarter than you. That's why they can't even press Control A and Control and and delete stuff with the freaking delete button on their keyboard. You see how he was trying to delete everything, and he kept tr pressing control. He kept doing control A to try and delete everything, and he was trying to go like this and to delete. He's trying to do control A, and then like you do control A and you go over it and then click delete. But he, do they not know there's a freaking delete button? But they deleted this. Uh, they deleted the recycle bin. I mean the little document, even though it's on video so that's not gonna help them much but so these guys are pretty nasty little scammers so I think they're the perfect people for you guys to give a call right now and if you've watched all the way to this time in the video um, if you guys want you guys can follow me on Twitter basically um, on Twitter I post like I post stuff while I'm in a scam I post pictures of what's happening and stuff so you guys can kinda get up like a live video I guess of a scam and see what it's like and see what's happening during it and I just I post other stuff when I've uploaded videos and stuff if you don't get it on YouTube but my Twitter is at scammer revolts I'll have a link in the description I'm also gonna redo my description but so I'll have a link in the descriptions uh, in the description it's uh, at scammer revolts though if you guys want um, but, so, yeah, if you guys want to follow it, follow it. If you don't, whatever. But, thank you for watching. Comment, um, if you guys call them, comment how your call went. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.